your um your background muna bago tayo makapag uh, come up with whatever things na suggestion. So, January nag um nakapag work ka as a PSW pero part-time lang once a week. Tapos February, hindi na PSW pero employer na na nag-o-offer ng LMIAs, that correct? Continuous PSW pa rin po ako kasi hanggang ngayon mm. po is uh, mayroon na akong private employer. Tapos okay. meron uh, PPSW pa rin po ako. Okay. Sa long-term care. Okay. Ilang oras 'yon, Richelle? Yung sa private po is 6 hours. 6 hours ka sa private. 6 hours a day? Yes po. Oh, very good. So that means 30 hours a week? Yes po. And then sa PSW mo, um ilang oras ka doon? Um Ano po ako doon eh? Part-time. Mm -hmm. uh, means, in, in bi-weekly, meron akong four, four shifts. Okay. Eight hours, eight, six, eight. Mga 30 din po. 30 hours a week? Opo, kasi... Wow, okay. So, hindi um, siya, hindi siya part-time. Kasi pag 30 hours a week, it's gonna be full-time. Eight, six, eight. Mm. Bi-weekly po, meron ako minsan na... Four shifts. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, hold on. Yung sa private, nanny or caregiver? Nanny po siya. Nanny. And then sa PSW, elderly, correct? Ah, uh, no. Sorry. Pwede po siyang elderly. Hmm. Ah, uh, hold on. Private is elderly? Yes po. No. Oh, okay. Good. With, uh, yeah, elderly, dementia. Okay. Um, may, yung, yung po nga, um, one concern, biggest concern yung mahawak na aming ng aking lamia na agency mm -hmm. which is nani at elder care mm -hmm. ito po okay hanggang ngayon hindi pa pala nila napapasa oh. yung so, um, usually kasi itong, itong agency na mga ito, when they, ito yung, I just wanna clarify ha, when they call themselves agency, that means they are not immigration consultant. I don't call myself as a consultant or as a licensed immigration consultant agency. Um, so, hindi, ibig sabihin, itong nani ad, ano, um, hindi sila, um, directly na pwedeng mag-process ng kanilang LMIA. Um, in, and in terms of LMIA, usually 2 to 3 months ang process. Ma, yung iba, mabilis, uh, maybe 2 months after 30 days of advertising. Ngayon, in terms of yung sa LMIA, paano mo nasabi na hindi pa nila na-process? Kasi po, ano, um, pinag-fill up na nila ako ng mga papers. Mm -hmm. Ako. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pinafollow up ko kung kailan matatapos yung process lang sa LMIA ko kasi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ang kot ko nga po is yung asawa yes. ko kaya yes po siya this winter yeah winter winter mm -hmm. eh inano po namin kung kailangan pa niya na mag uh, kung mag-enroll pa siya yeah. or para maantay na yung sa akin para hindi na siya mag-enroll mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I course. understand yes so, mm -hmm. so kaya po kami na sa ano kung Okay. Hanggang kailan siya pwedeng hindi mag-end mag yes. dahil yes. hahanap po talaga kami ng sponsorship mm -hmm. para sa kanya. Okay. Or hindi alam niya yung sa akin, mm -hmm. okay yung transaction ng lahat. Okay. But, uh, so, nalaman ko po na nagulat sila na, uh, uh, Lisha, hindi mo pa pala napipilapan yung ganito. Sabi ko, na-forward ko na po. Uh, Nag-ano na nga po sila, take your receipt. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi yung kasunod. Eh, yung unang sinend po nila sa akin, requirement for student uh, uh, student caregiver. Sabi ko, hindi po ako student. Sabi ko, ganyan. Tapos, chinect nila ulit. Mm -hmm. Ay, pari ko na requirement So, that means they're really messy. Hindi hindi sila efficient for oh. their jobs. And that oh. means, wala pang naipapasok na LMIA kapag kaganon. However, in terms of LMIA, to be honest with you, they just only need your full name, birth date, Kasi ang iasa sa LMIA is yung ano yung um, yung employer. Ikaw ang mag-aassess sa yo is immigration, okay? So right now, I believe na they're just fooling around kasi they really don't need any other things other than the contract of course when they apply for uh, LMIA kailangan yon yung schedule I but if that's the case then um kasi wala wala talagang may papakitang um, LMIA number yang mga yan kasi when you apply it's already online 
when yung employer is nag-apply, mayroong LMIA number. So, that's the, that's the ano, yun yung problema natin ngayon. Dahil talagang, clearly, walang nai-apply na LMIA. And I believe that was since January. Is that, tra- is that right? Or February? Yes po. Uh, Mag-fix na pang kung January second week po ko nag-start or February. Mm. So, may patat na po yun. Ang tagal na. Grabe. So, that means, pinapabayaan nila yung inyong, ano, yung inyong um, application. Ngayon, in terms of yung asawa mo, siyang student student uh, uh, permit, ngayon, si, ano, uh, matatapos na siya itong December, correct? Hindi pa po. Mm. Kailan siya matatapos? Next year po. Next year. Anong ma? Uh, fall intake po siya matatapos eh. Fall. Ah, fall. Matagal pa. <laughs> okay. So, in terms of Mark, um, ano bang plano? Gusto nyo bang mag-stop or gusto nyo i-push through yung, yung, yung uh, kanyang studies? Um, initially po, uh, mag-stop muna siya. Mm-hmm. Kapag kami ng sponsor and then saka po siya ulit mag-aaral. Okay. That's, uh, that should be okay. Uh, pwede siyang mag-stop. Uh, pwede siyang mag-aaral ulit. Um, I believe na hanggang ano na lang pero kayo, yung inyong um, uh, status is 11.30 pero sabi mo nga, nag-extend kayo. Kailan kayo nag-extend? September po. Ah, uh, September. Okay. Um, anong ginamit yung LOA? Uh, yung dati? Para sa ano? Ah, uh, hold on. Kung sabi mo, ang, um, ang studies ng asawa mo is sa... Uh, hanggang sa fall intake next year, bakit kayo nabigyan until 11.30, 2023 lang? Dapat po kasi kami, before, before pa nung 2022, dapat 2021 po kami umalis na. Okay. Ang nangyari po, yung school po, walang open, puro okay. close it na. Okay. Um, hindi po kasi nagkatag po yung mm-hmm. na, ano kami sa immigration, mm-hmm. na approve. Mm-hmm. Um, meron na kaming uh, LOA mm-hmm. tapos po uh, na-approve kami na huli yung pag-approve Mm, okay. So, hindi po sila nagkatagpo. Okay. So, sana, ang ginawa ng agency na nag-process sa inyo, humingi sana ulit kayo ng new LOA na ng sana. yung okay. new intake para nakuha nyo yung until next year fall intake. However, since tapos naman na yun, what, uh, what you did is to apply for extension for student permit at saka open permit sa'yo, yes, you did the right thing. Okay? So, we're gonna wait for that. Ngayon, what I can suggest is ipu ano mo um ano ay ipush mo yung ano yung LMIA under the caregiver program and then wait for time uh, and then second thing is also since open permit ka you will gonna be implied kapag uh, dumating yung um uh, pag uh, since naka apply ka na uh, you will be implied so ngayon you can keep on be uh, working this, with the same status that you have which is open permit until lumabas yung result so ngayon um you have two option pwede mong hin- pwede pwedeng hindi mag LMIA Pwede ring ipa-declare mo palagi yung bi-weekly mo at saka yung yung caregiver mo na 6 hours a week. You don't need the LMIA right now if in case that's what you want. Yan po. Yes, uh, next question. Yeah. Pero ba na yung sa LMIA ko ngayon? Currently, mapunta siya kay Ryan since siya may kailangan ng LMIA. Yes, you can do that. Yes, that is Ayan. the beautiful thing. So, um actually, yeah. employer na employer ko is very very willing. Support. Good, good, good. Yes, I would recommend since open permit ka, you're, you're safe. Mayroon pa nga yung 18 months extension na open permit. What you can do is i- ilipat mo kay Mark yung LMIA. Um, anyway, yung LMIA, you can always ano naman, eh, change the foreign worker doon. Sana kung may LMIA na, we can change the name from you, kung sakaling napangalan sa'yo, to your husband. Para si husband, gamitin niya yung LMIA. So, I would recommend that is a beautiful thing. Yes, you. I'm confirming that you can do that. Um, uh, um, talk to your employer na kung pwedeng i-process na yung LMIA. Ngayon, ang problema natin, yung agency na nagpo-process, they're not doing their job. So, um, alam initially. Okay. Pero, so, hindi sinabi, pero, ano, hindi open. Talaga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kaya, naging willing lang talaga sila. Naging, ano lang, uh, naging okay naman. So, yeah. They like yeah. you. That's the reason. That is the situation right now in Canada. 
pag nakita nila na you deserve those things, believe me, yun ang laging ginagawa ng mga employer. They will gonna actually jump um, uh, above and beyond their ano, their, their um, comfort zone. Um, they will gonna give you the help. Lalo na pag nakita nilang deserve mo naman and you're give Kasi you guys are very important uh, uh, member sa kanilang... Um, well, they can call you family member na rin eh, kung tutuusin. Kasi nga, you're caring for their parents, for their for their um, family members. So, you are a big ano na rin, um, contribution, big uh, big help sa family nila. So, they will do everything. So, I believe you are a very good worker. Kaya ginagawa nila to sa'yo. Okay? So, yeah. Um, ano po bang, willing naman siya, tapos sabi ko po, sa, kung, oh, kasi bago po po kayo kausapin, mm. tinatin po siya, nag-consent mm-hmm. po sa kanya, mm-hmm. kung okay lang na, ilipat yung mm-hmm. paper ko sa inyo, mm-hmm. para kayo nyo na lang po uh, yeah. mag-aayos. Yeah. Wait, hindi ko pa po nababanggit, kung pwede, si Raya na lang instead of me. Mm-hmm. Pero nabanggit ko sa kanya, na hindi ko na kailangan yeah. ng elementary, yeah. si Raya may kailangan, which is, um, tingin ko naman po papayag siya kasi po ang nangyayari ngayon mm-hmm. co-work ako, nandun din po yung asawa ko actually, buhay oh. pati po namin isa okay, na. wow, beautiful um, anong lahi to? Italian po ah, okay, okay, Italian, okay that's good mm-hmm. so, tingin ko naman po, hindi, hindi siya ma- mag-agree siya, which is ang una lang niyang sinabi, mm-hmm. basta hindi masyadong malaki yata yung fee na babayaran niya. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, which is, um, yun po, so yun po yung next naman, yung sa kung magkaning babayaran. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na- it is a good thing um, na tumawag kayo sa akin para makonfirm ko ano yung mga plano nyo. But I like what I am hearing. Hindi naman kayo yung kagaya ng iba na talagang um, uh, desperado na yung inyong papers or immigration status sa Canada. So, the beauty of it is that Kami you... Kami po yung desperate person as is. <laughs> ah, <laughs> hindi. No. Uh, there's more desperate situation, desperate situation out there, honestly. Um, etong naririn... Hindi naman po. Hindi Please naman. You are not. You're not kasi in in the first place nakapag-apply na kayo ng um, extension nyo and then ikaw sigurado nakapag-apply ka na naman ng extension so in terms of the uh, yung asawa mo pwede naman niyang i-stop muna i-hold na, niya muna yung kanyang studies pwede yun and then pwede rin naman niyang i-stop ng mag-aral after alam mo ba kasi when you complete yung 30 hours a week mo and then nakapag one year ka ng as a caregiver Ikaila, you just need to get your WES at saka IELTS para makomply dun sa requirements for permanent residence pathway as a caregiver. Then, once na one year ka na, pwede ka na mag-apply. I like, I like to hear it kasi nga, hindi pa naman close ang elderly or home support worker. Um, usually kasi pag nani, you have you can only apply every January 1, 2000, uh, every January 1 of the year. Kasi naku, na, napupuno na kaagad. But with you, hindi kaagad-agad napupuno ang mga matatanda. So, that's the beauty of it, maybe February basta ma-maintain mo, naka-declare yung iyong work permit as elderly caregiver, then you can apply for PR. Ngayon, si, si Mark Yes, nagpa-LMIA siya. Yes, pwede siyang mag-stop mag-aral. Maisasama mo na si Mark sa PR pathway for the whole family na after you get your one-year experience as a caregiver. So, ibig sabihin po, kahit ilipat namin ngayon, pwedeng ako pa rin po yung mauna next year. Oh yeah, pwede ka mag-apply na ng PR. Maisasama mo na yung asawa mo at saka uh, anak mo. The only thing is that yung processing period for PR, hindi naman agad-agad lumalabas yan. So, you want to maintain your status, which is, well, you're talking to me now. You're now my client. Um, you can always text me or 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 maybe um, uh, email me for any clarification. Okay? So, that's the beauty of it. So, yes, um, you can do that. You can apply for PR. The only the, the only good thing with you, uh, ang, ang gagawin mo is to prepare yourself, which is your English exam, West mo, yung standard, uh, yung uh, assessment mo from uh, foreign uh, foreign um, transcript of records to assess dito sa Canadian um, uh, standard ng, ano, ng, kanyang, ng iyong education, which is yung West. Yun yung two, two things na kailangan mong i-comply with your one-year experience as a caregiver. Pwede ka nang mag-apply ng permanent residence mo by February 2024. Um, ano po ba 
Saan po ba yun? Pwede po ba kayo mag-apply? Yes, of po? course. I can do that. You can do that yourself too. You can DIY. But okay, if you want to make sure, then you can always hire me to actually uh, okay, retain po. me. Okay? So, that those okay. are your options. Pero siyempre, in terms of requirements, you need to get it on your own. Which is West IELTS. Okay, I cannot po. really help you with that. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Kasi yung iba, yes. they will gonna ask me, can you help me West? Can you help me IELTS? I can't help you there. Um, I'm only an immigration <laughs> consultant. Okay? Okay, so um, kausa, this is what you're going to do. Kausapin mo yung employer mo. Um, tell him or tell them na ipa LMIA mo si Mark at hindi na siya mag-aral pwede para mas makasave kayo with thousands of dollars. Uh, I believe that's a lot, 20,000, 15,000 or whatever. But at least, but the good thing also is that nakapag-apply na si asawa mo ng, ano, ng um, extension, then darating din yan as an extension pa rin. Darating pa rin yan kasi ginamit nyo yung LOA nyo na bago, which is they will base on the LOA. Maganda yan, nakapag-apply na kayo by bagong, uh, may bagong law na naman itong coming December 1, 2023 about this student permit application. So, um, I believe once na nakapasok na kayo, then we 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 should be okay with whatever. Yeah. Um, yung ang concern ko is yung sa school. Mm -hmm. uh Oo, -oh, hindi po, um, wala naman po ba mag magiging conflict ang pagtigil niya sa pag-school niya ulit kung sakaling gusto niya mag-school. Wala. There's no conflict. Don't worry. Kasi, ang gagamitin uh, in terms of the school, they can't really they can't really do anything if you want to stop, if you want to withdraw. The only thing is that school and immigration are completely different. But, um, wala namang magiging problema. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, kapag kayo tutuloy niya someday, which I doubt, kung itutuloy pa niya. <laughs> um, uh, plano po niya kasi rin mag-iba mag po siya ng Mm, okay. So, nasa IT industry po siya, which is di po ba maganda dito ang healthcare. Oh, yeah, of course. Kapag po mag-nurse siya. Mm -hmm. Oh, gusto niyang mag-nurse? Really? Sabi po niya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ako okay. din po, ay, are you really going into a nursing yeah. pathway? Kasi, um, IT, ano? Eh, no? Okay. Gusto mo yan. Pag hindi mo gusto, wag na lang. Kasi talaga, hindi mo talaga siya. Well, you know what? Um, if it is if it is what he wants, then support it. Kasi ako nga, I I came from banking. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Ako naman, I came from banking. Then napunta ako sa immigration, di ba? So if you think about it, it's it's um it's the passion. Um, uh, if you think that actually po, na open siya yung kanyang ganon ng nagpipeso dun po sa employer ko ngayon. Actually, oh. sila ngayon yung magkasundo. Okay. Kasi, so sabi ko, siguro kaya naman din talaga niya. Kasi, ako po minsan, oh, wala ng pasensya. Mm -hmm. Pero may pigil. Mahirap siya. din naman talaga yung mag-alaga ng, ano, ng uh, elderly, sa totoo lang. Pero alam mo, sana, pero, dapat si Mark, dapat nakausap niyo na ako noon pa para hindi na nag-aral si Mark. But, which is talaga pong talaga. <laughs> kaya alam po talaga, of course, of course. You don't go back there. Hindi mo naman na pwedeng bumalik sa AFAS, okay? Ngayon po ay nagtaalaga din ako ng baby. Okay. Dami ah. Parang ano ah. Okay. Kasi ayaw ko rin mag-stop ng isa lang. Yes. Minsan sabi ko, parang laging matanda na lang bata naman. Talagang blessing naman. Nakakakulong but you know what you're a very good ano. I believe you're a very good worker you're so diversified um, you're willing to take whatever whatever options you can have here in Canada Ganyan naman pag una. but you know what with that kind of behavior you're gonna be it's a it's a recipe for uh, for a successful um, um, uh, immigrant oh, it's a, yes it's a recipe yeah. so you're doing the good the right thing and also Another recipe of becoming successful is you're seeking the professional, not your friends, not the agency, not your family's advice. Kasi they don't know eh. nag stop na sila sa isang Actually, question yes, mo. Oh. Mm. Um, balik po tayo. Ito po kasi sa employer, concern ko din. Ano pa po yung gagawin niya? Kasi um, ito din po kasi yung employer ko, first time lang din po mm -hmm. nila mm -hmm. na humawak ng ganito. Okay. So, ang sabi nga niya po sa akin is, Kung pwede, ibigay ko sa inyo yung yeah. number niya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, para I can talk to your employer. Yes, para yes. Para po, kung 
may ka-clarify kayo mm -hmm. para din kung may ka-clarify yeah. siya. Yeah. Eh, gusto siyang itanong. Well, actually, uh, may, ang employer, mayroon silang karapatan to pay anybody they want na declare nila kahit na sino. Hindi naman exclusively they hire one foreign worker and then wala na silang karapatan to hire another one. So, should not be like that. So, don't worry about that. We're okay. Um, so, yeah, pretty much naka, na, i, na i, ano mo, ang galing, um, parang uh, nagsusulat ka ba o talagang uh, po, photographic memory ka lang? Alam mo ka agad yung summary. Ako sana magsasummarize nun eh. <laughs> <laughs> nagsusulat din po ako. Okay, very good. Nagsusulat yes. Nagsusulat ka din kasi um, anong question mo lang? Yung salamia po ni Ryan, mm -hmm. pag na-start po siya, kasi one year lang na yan, diba? Ang alam ko, tama po ba din o, Rilin? Ang yeah. lamia ay one year siya saka magpa-process yung lamia niya. Oh, Tama? no. Uh, ang LMIA, hold on. Ang LMIA is process, ang, are you asking about processing period ng LMIA? Uh, uh, para po maging PR. Oh, uh, hindi LMIA yun. Um, as an experienced caregiver, ang uh, ano ang uh, pwedeng mag-apply is ikaw kasi since February nag-nag-nag-work ka na as a caregiver kaya ka nakaka-declare kasi open permit ka kaya nagpapa-LMIA yung mga iba kasi they wanna change from uh, from being a student to work permit under the caregiver program but for you okay ka na eh meron ka ng one year that's why si sa asawa mo um uh, kailangan niyang magpa-LMIA kasi gusto niyang ma-maintain yung status niya. Okay? Ma-change from being student to LMIA, uh, work permit. Okay. Ngayon, the good thing, the good thing also, ano, um, uh, Rachel, is that when you get your work permit, exclusive work permit, there is a new rule right now na ang mga estudyante before, you or kahit work permit holder ka, you can apply, uh, you can study without asking for a permit from the immigration na. Yun ang bagong rule. Well, that was few months ago. So, it's okay na maging uh, exclusive work permit holder yung asawa mo. Um, pero, he doesn't need one year anymore. You're just doing this LMIA kasi to maintain his status. Pero ikaw, once you applied for uh, permanent residence sa February, kasi naka one year ka na, maisasama na ang asawa mo to apply for PR din. Pero si Ryan, in terms of the LMIA, uh, changing from being student to work permit, um, that is only to maintain his status. Kasi once, when you apply for um, for permanent residence, magiging implied na lang kayo, there's a possibility that you will gonna lose the OHEP. Okay? So you don't want that. So, um, ikaw qualified ka na. Si Ryan qualified ka pa. He doesn't need to get that one year kasi mag apply rin siya eventually with under you. Ayun, so nag na nag-gets nag niyo. Hindi ko marinig. Tayo? Ay, ate, ano? Ate Nori, mm. possible lang. Pero which is hindi naman sa amin. Parang possible lang. If ever, halimbawa ngayon, um, walang nag-sponsor sa kanya ng Lamia. Halimbawa yeah. lang. Mm -hmm. Hanggang kailan siya pwedeng hindi mag-aral? Um, ano eh, mayroong ano dito, mayroong uh, tawag dito, may isang semester yata yun. That's, uh, ano, yun na nakalagay doon. I think it's, it's one As, semester. Ah, uh, mga ganun lang. Mayroon yeah. siyang limit. Mm -hmm, may limit siya. Days may limit siya. One step lang. Yes, yes. Ah, so, hanggang ganun days lang. Yes, Pero, yes. yun nga ang good thing, may lamia tayo, ano? Yeah, yeah. Ano ko siya buka? Uh, that LMIA is to maintain the status of your husband. Ayun. So, kailangan kailangan. Ng LMIA, oo. Oh, oh. yeah. Para ma-maintain yung status mo. Yeah. Status. Ah, yeah. uh, ano pa bang question ko? As for the meantime po, wala na akong question. <laughs> for the meantime, yes. <laughs> Opo, kasi nasagot, okay, mga important thing, mga ano na po yung nasagot nyo yeah. talaga. Yeah. It's important na yung uh, highlight na yung mm -hmm. nasagot natin today. Mm -hmm. Ang mag-uusapan lang po is yes, yung magkana yung babayaran yeah. namin. So, ano, Rezel, also, also, I just wanna let you know kay husband din na he has an option not to go through LMIA din. He can just wait yung extension na ginamit nyo ngayon. But again, you're, you're taking a chance. Pero, uh, the good thing is, ma-maintain yung status, may mga option naman kayo kahit walang LMIA, 
um, kung hindi na siya mag-aaral talaga completely, then okay din naman. Pero kung talagang gusto niya mag-aaral, then it should be only within 150 days or uh, uh, after one semester. Ganon. Uh, Ate Laila, ang ano ba niyan is, pwede siyang hindi mag-LMIA. Hintayin ko na lang yung sa akin na, alimbawa lang. Pwede. Uh, let's get back to start na. Mm -hmm. Ako si Mayla Mia, siya yung estudyante. Pumigil siya ngayon. Pwede hindi muna siya kumuha ng LMIA. Please. Pwede hindi na siya kumuha ng LMIA. Ngayon, hintayin na lang yung pagpa-process ko ng PR. Tama ba? Tama. Pwede. Pwede. Ah, okay. Ah, yun yung isa pang option. Mm -hmm. Marami kayong option, kaya nga hindi kayo desperado eh. Ay. You just Ay. need to clarify and confirm kung ano yung mga dapat na gagawin para hindi kayo nag-guess. And then hindi kayo napapahamak doon sa uh, supposed na ano na na permanent residence pathway nyo. But you guys have a lot of option, especially ikaw. Mayroon ka ng almost one year ka ng ano nag uh, mag-work ano na ngayon, November, let's say November, December, January, February, three months na lang. And that that three months use it to comply and complete yung mga requirements to get the permanent residency application. Ay, sige, ate, ate, ano, ate Norili, mm. pag-isip pa namin. Yeah, of course. Kita transfer pa namin yung uh, lamiya ko sa kanya or i-continue na lang namin para walang, less ang, ano, less ang conflict or yeah. less ang nagawin. At saka, ano, mas less, ano, yung, uh, yung mas economical siya, di ba? Ayun, opo, yun. Tapos, hintay na lang niya. Hindi na, ang pinaka-tumpak na talaga nga ganyan hindi na muna siya mag-i-school. Yeah, pwede. Mm -hmm. And yung PR, uh, PR application ko. Mm -hmm. And then, Uh, there's another there's another important thing. Pag hindi nag-aaral ang asawa mo, hindi siya pwedeng magpa-payroll. Oh, oh yun mm -hmm. ang isa. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Good tip, good tip yun. Mm -hmm. then, so, dapat ano, hindi payroll. Laging cash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But the good thing is, ang, ang good thing din naman doon is uh, hindi madami yung income, then hindi kayo magbabayad sa si, sa Canada Revenue Agency. Ayun lang po. Then instead, oh. of, instead of paying and owing kayo sa CRA, ang mangyayari, magiging refund kayo, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So yun yung mga technique at saka option, which is really, you cannot really find it in the, I mean, you can research sa, sa website ng CRA, call CRA, but you know, yung time mo very, ano eh, very precious eh. It's difficult to find all those direct information, di ba? So, yeah. Opo, ano advice sa 